Hi there, in this tutorial we're going to take three collections and show you how you can nest them together in dropdowns. This means that your user is able to select a type, for instance, pants. Si specific sizes are associated with pants. In this case, extra large, large, medium, and small. We'll choose an extra large pants. When we choose extra large pants, we are then able to only select two specific colors, so we can select yellow. If we wanted small pants, we may have a different choice of colors we can choose. If we selected shirts, you'll see that we have a different size range of shirts. So we'll pick a medium shirt and we'd like it in red. And you can see you have ordered a shirt's medium red. Let's look at this in the editor. It's super important that you make sure to set up your database correctly for using this type of feature. You have your types collection. This is where we set up the initial dropdown, pants, shirts, whatever type your, your user is able to select. From there, we know our user is going to pick a size. So we've set up sizes here and associated them with a type. This is very important that you ensure this relationship is set as one to many. A size can have one type while types can have many sizes. Then we set up colors. We know that our users are going to pick their color after that. Here we have a dropdown of colors and we associate those colors to sizes. So what sizes are available to what colors? And that is a many-to-many -many relationship. Let's show you how to set this up. We're going to add a new type so our user can select something new besides pants and shirts. Let's take dresses. We add this here, and now our user is able to collect, select that in their initial dropdown. But remember, we need to add a size to that. So now we're going to go to our sizes collection, and we're going to start adding our sizes with our type. So we're going to add a size for dress, and we need to select this as dresses. It's not pants, but it's dresses. And then what colors does the size for dress come in? It comes in yellow, and it comes in blue and we're going to save that. And you'll see here now that a size four dress comes in two colors, yellow and blue. Let's add one additional one. So let's add a size 12 dress. And then we're going to add the colors to it of purple and red. Let's test this out and ensure that it's working. Our user can now select dresses. Notice that they don't see the large, extra large, small, or medium. They only see the sizes associated with the type dresses. They can pick a size 12 dress and then can pick that dress in purple or red. Here we go. We've set them up that they'll be ordering a dresses 12 purple. And that is how you set up nested collections using drop down.